right now. This this uh, matchup is usually Muscat's favor, but last time Ruben beat Muscat at Big Cheese, mm, and they played Peach Captain Falcon. Yeah, I big. think they're in a they're in a counter pick war right now between like Peach Fox Captain Falcon and Samus. It's actually scary as because like I actually don't know. Like it's hard for us to look at the bracket and, and, and like know what's going to happen between these two. Yeah, um, definitely going to adjust the camera again. Ruben has been practicing a lot of Captain Falcon here, so Muscat's not prepared for that matchup. Oh, and he does boot Falcon. Uh, Ruben finds the first grab of the game, gets 72%, pretty strong. Very important to get percentage against Peach, because then you can. Uh, it's easier to finish her off. She doesn't really die early, so racking up the sentry is the best thing to do. Masuka gets out of the corner, gets his own punish, and both players are back to neutral now. I feel like this is a weird one for, um, for Musket to still play Peach in. Because, I don't know, the way I look at this matchup from the outside is just like, I don't know, Peach seems to get annihilated by Falcon. I think so too, but I think they um they probably blind picked against each other because Muscat uh, doesn't want to play Fox against Ruben. Ah, uh, of Samus, course, of course. Because Ruben Samus you know, beats a lot of Foxes. So I guess this is the, um, yeah, probably the best start. Yeah, that makes sense. But that then if uh, Muscat plays Fox against Ruben's Captain Falcon, Ruben might have a little bit of a problem. I don't think his Falcon is good enough to beat Muscat's Fox just yet. But this this game, very even so far. Alright, doing some new Nick, because uh, Muscat is to Ruben's left. And um, if you're the camera looking at them, Muscat is still on the right. Chad Cat gets the uh, edge guard here. <laughs> not Chad. Muscat is not Chad. And there we go, Chad Cat gets the stock. <laughs> up, up one stock against Ruben. Very important in this matchup. Ruben failing to punish the down smash. Muscat oh, just bro. letting it rip. If you can't, if people can't punish the down smash, you should just, you yeah, should just use it. Well, um, the risk reward is heavily in your favor if people can't punish it. Also against a against a fast follower like Ruben, against a, a fast follower like Captain Falcon. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was thinking like I was thinking about this the other day, but um, so many times Peach is just get a down smash that only gets him one hit and it's like you could just grab but um probably can but most people still can't punish the down smash even yeah, after I mean, one hit like it's not the easiest yeah, smash attack not. to um punish it's deceptively fast yeah he should get out of jab or a spot dodge or even another down smash because mm. like the, time. the the lingering like final hit it happens so late in like the animation that like um you can really get away with yeah. it a lot that's nice cool. that's it I was just saying yeah. this before, but like, man, I, I, I'm really happy with like where Adelaide has gotten in terms of just like overall melee skill. Because like, I, yeah. I don't know. Well, one Victoria's, of the strongest dates, I think, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Like, Victoria's got a deep pool, uh, but Adelaide's like, Adelaide's top end is probably just as strong as um, like all of Vic PR. Yep. I think Adelaide will definitely beat Victoria in a crew battle. No doubt about it. Yeah, they, they don't might have even spot. win next They don't have spot. Exactly. Like, they do have Sora and, um, and Dekka, but, um, we have three we've, players we've got you, ten. and we've got Nick, and we've yep. got Ruben, and we've got Muskrat, mm -hmm. and we got me, and we got Chad Rats as well. Exactly. We have three players in the top ten of Australia. How can we not win? Oh. <laughs> That's the game there. I wonder what... Ruben is going to pick. He's actually, definitely going to say Falcon, actually. actually lasted a bit longer than I kind of anticipated. It looked like Musket kind of had it in the bag at some point, though. But yeah, just took a while to finish it out. Yeah. Falcon a bit heavy. All right. I'm thinking about state, it's like, power rankings. How good would Perth be, you reckon? Because they have Spud to, like, bring up the I think, skill a lot. Uh, I, I mean, Quetz. I mean, Quetz, yeah, Quetz is definitely top 100 as fuck. Yep. Um... WA might be there, but then people after Quetz. Sundowns is probably the next one on the list, and like Kari if he's still playing. Yep. 
That's like, actually also a pretty yeah. scary crew. To be yeah, honest. Perth is really strong too. Yeah. Um, it's just a matter of like having all of them like be active, mm -hmm. and that's like not as um. That's a bit of a more of a mystery than some other states. Yeah. Oh, I like this edge guard. Oh, you can actually just um, back air the parasol there. You see the parasol go up. Peach can't act for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just go out and hit it. Okay. Ooh, good reversal. Great dash dance, actually. Just Very patient. Sca yeah, scaring Ruben into rolling. Out. Back to Eden. Oh no, Ruben's on the move now. I like this stage against the against the Peach. Me too. Oh, nice knee. That was such a soft like. It's a big call out, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like, Must he just, just hung, in the air, hung in the air for a little bit too long. Mm. And he loses his stop for it. Because, like, Nothing. Ruben just, uh, like, he had so much air time on that full hop that he could really just wait. Yep. But it's like, as long as he needed to. Oh, nice. Ruben getting a lot of strong hits this game. He's actually starting to use, uh, he's actually starting to, like, meet Peach in the air a bit more. Yep. Um, and so he's not getting down smashed as much. He's not getting crash cancelled as much. Um... And it just means that like Peach has to be a lot more careful with the, her aerials. Not only that, but he's also calling out Peach on the ground because Ruben's full hopped knee, like I think twice now. Yeah, he's starting to just Ford put Muscat. out these knees a lot. Yep. Put Muscat in the air, catches him on the ground. What can Muscat do to answer that? There you go. Gets the nair knee. Nice. Yeah, uh, Ruben's like grounded aerial game, like like short hop aerial game, has actually picked up a bit in this game. Oh, you hate this that. Is that. You hate that. If there's yeah, one thing I could change about melee, it would be a bit more consistent herb boxes. Yep. They're a bit too detailed for a fighting game, but um, I it's, agree. And it's just like you don't need that much. Remove all the Z-axis stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. The Z-axis shit is just like I don't know. It's, it's really it's sad so to see Yoshi just grab and miss, <laughs> even though the next the other player is just next to him. But just like. It makes frame data hard to read on some moves too. Like, yep. you look at uh, Fox down tilt. Oh, nice. There's the full up knee again. Like, you look nice at Fox down tilt, for example, and it, like, it says it hits on what? It's like frame. Uh, it's between five down and seven, tilt? I forget. Yeah. Um, but, like, sometimes it just doesn't hit on that first diagonal frame because it's not, like, far enough in the Z axis for him to hit it. Oh, yeah. And the more I play this game, I, the more I realize that frame data doesn't really apply that much because people mess up all the time. Like Fox's drill is theoretically minus six, seven, or eight, but um, nah, nah, nah. Foxes <laughs> don't shine straight away afterwards, and people don't shield grab on the first available frame either. Nah, nah, exactly. No, it's a really loose game, um, and like it's fucking hard to be. Be perfect. Like, yeah, it's just hard to be perfect. It's hard to be like first actionable frame on everything. Yep. Like, I don't know. Like, like, starting like up strong. you wouldn't think you have to practice your shield grabs, but you kind of do. You do. I, I played, um, I practiced an uncle punch, punch the other day, and my shield grabs are consistently like two, three frames late. Wow. All the time. It's a pretty awful thing to be. I've actually started to try and uh, put um, C stick up wave dashes out of shield into my game. C stick up wave dash. That sounds really hard. Cause then you no, I can do it. Don't you need to like react to the jump from the C stick? Like just no, no, no. Oh, you know uh, when it's okay. supposed to come out. So the thing about like when you press the C stick up, yeah, you don't like flick it up. You kind of like inch it up a little bit because um that way you're like you're constantly inputting it. Yeah. And not only that, it's buffered. So if you just know the the shields on a, on a move, yep. you can just like consistently get a buffered wave dash. Okay, out. so you actually need to know the shield stun. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing. Is like you have to know the shield stun uh, and then uh, adjust your air dodge based on that. That could be like, really good. Because then, because then the because uh, then the like actual jump out of shield is consistent. Yeah, frame perfect jumps out of shield. Yeah. What's happening this game though? Ruben not doing so well in FD. Not finding the stock yet. Needs one strong hit, but Muscat not giving it to him. He's being very evasive this game. Dashing back and forth, wave dashing back. Oh, 
Let's get in the corner now. Let's see if Ruben can finish this. Oh, it gets clipped by the parasol. That sucks. Up there. That's the stock. 169%. Ruben needs to find these stocks a little bit earlier if he wants to win this. Nice back there. Can't up their pitch like that. Yes, Gooch, I was e eating an apple. I'll put it in the bin now. And Muscat in an edge guard situation again. Gets the Nair, nice. It is 1 1, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because um, first game was Dreamland, and then second game was Stadium. Yep. And it looks like it's going to be a 2 1. Nice dash attack. Masuki is such a consistent player, I feel. Like, he, yep. there's not too many times where he underperforms. Um, I think that's kind of his outlook. <laughs> Ledge dash down smash. He's, he is very consistent. He does all the um, all the safe options. All the good options, actually. And like he just like, kind of chips you down slowly and slowly. Yeah, his outlook on like Smash games in general seems to be pretty like smart. At least for like... Uh, yeah, just being really solid, you know? Like, you don't beat him too bad by, like, not being honest, yep. I guess. like He's one of the hardest players to hit, I feel. Yeah, sometimes, honestly. Like, the neutral between my Fago and his Fox is just, like, really, really drawn out. Yeah. Like, and then, like, he just does the really good punishes exactly. a lot of the time. Um, there's not too many times he drops it. And... He's quite a test, honestly, for a lot of people. Oh, beam sword, baby! Oh, good. Actually, good move <laughs> Might by not be the best edge guard. Oh, the beam sword's still on the stage. Go, Ruben, gonna get it? No, come on. Nice. Yes. Oh! Nice one. <laughs> it's out now. Uh, kind of hard to know whether or not to DI that one or the other, but. Ruben's gonna lose it for that. I think you should consistently DI the uh, Peach down air, just out and down. Make a rinse and repeat. Right. Yeah, I, I kind of, I try to do that. Then they have like a higher chance of scoring up if they keep doing it over and over. Yeah, that's true. Unless you're a god at SDI and you can go through the Peach. But, I... but even then, they can, like you would have to SDI a lot. out, like into the stage and then in, like into the ground so you can get a shoot yep. up in time. That'd be ridiculously hard. Oh, nice Ruben! He's playing like just outside of the peach range too, and like, uh, oh no, that's such a fucking shift in this match. Like, but he finds the up air knee. The invincibility grants him one for free, but um, just so rough to just lose that one there. Yeah, like he was really starting to pick up some momentum, and now like Musk is gonna play in a way that's gonna try and ice him out. Nice dash attack. This is the edge cancel on that down there. Yep. And oh, that's that is it. That's the set. Oh, let's get advances. Ruben is out of the tournament. So up next is Scrattles. And wait, who? Scrattles and who? Um, Catherine maybe. Oh, has I have no clue. Later on. No, oh, Florence lost to Florence. It's not this, it right? It could be Florette. Yeah, I don't know who's next. Well, Musket's gonna send somebody over. 